velocity test is generally done to check the quality of the concrete by determining the velocity of an ultrasonic pulse passing through a concrete structure. Higher velocities indicate the concrete is in good quality and lower velocities indicate the presence of cracks or voids. The apparatus consists of an ultrasonic device which is connected to set of transducers. The ultrasonic device contains electrical pulse generator, amplifier and electronic timing circuit. The ultrasonic device can send the pulse to the transducer and measuring the time interval for a pulse to travel from transmitter to the receiver end. The two transducers used can operate within the frequency range of 20 kHz to 150 kHz. These transducers can transform the electronic pulses into mechanical energy and vice versa. Let's now shall see the procedure for this test. A transducer is placed at the one end of the concrete and the other is placed at the other end. The transducer arrangement shall be of any of the following types, direct transmission, semi-direct transmission and indirect transmission. The direct transmission is the most reliable from the point of view of transit time measurement and is accurate. The semi-direct method can sometimes be used satisfactorily if the angle between the transducers is not too great. The indirect method is the least satisfactory, since the received signal amplitude may be less than 3% of that for a comparable direct transmission. Once the transducer is arranged, the ultrasonic pulse is produced by the transducer which is held in contact with one surface of the concrete member under test. After traveling a known path length L in the concrete, the pulse of vibrations is received at the other transducer. This transducer converts mechanical energy into an electrical signal. This electrical energy is received by the electronic timing circuit present in the device. The time for this travel T is displayed on the monitor of the device. The pulse velocity, V is given by V is equal to L divided by T. Based on the velocity the quality of concrete is identified with the help of the table shown on the screen. With the help of this method, many terms such as strength, homogeneity, trapped air, internal flaws, cracks, segregation, honeycombing, compaction, workmanship, and durability can also be determined. We shall discuss the same later. Thank you for watching. One will be able to measure the pulse velocity in the concrete using the equation V equals L over T. So, in summary, the basic idea behind the pulse velocity method is that the velocity of a pulse depends on the quality of the concrete. In general, the higher the velocity, the higher the quality of concrete. Conversely, a low velocity often yields a low quality concrete with the presence of anomalies and deficiencies. So as you can see, by using this test, you can use the velocity calculated in order to assess the quality of concrete.